Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Imani here. I'm currently standing in my kitchen, and as you guys already know, this is gonna be a nursing school supply haul video. I have all my nursing school supplies on my little island here. And I'm just gonna be showing you guys everything that I've used for the first year of nursing school. So I go back to nursing school on August the 17th and I'll be starting my third semester and I'll be taking mental health and med surge too. So not that that makes me a pro or anything, but this is just some of the stuff that I've used so far in my nursing school um, program and I will continue to use in my third semester. Now I do still have some things that are coming in, some stuff that I wanted to buy um, for this semester of nursing school and it hasn't came in yet. So I'm just gonna link it in the description box and you guys can check it out there. And I hope that you guys find this helpful. If you guys can think of any other supplies that would be helpful for a nursing student, just leave them in the comment section um, because that could help me as well as anyone else watching this video. So without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. Uh, so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys was my Happy Planner. The Happy Planner is the brand that I like to buy and this is the planner. It is a vertical design um, planner, which basically means that it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. And this is how it looks like on the inside. And I really like these planners because they're cute and then I like the vertical design. So let's see if I can show you guys. One. So this is like what a whole month look lo looks like. And then this is pretty much what the weekly layouts look like. So this works for me. I know some people like to do like the hourly planner or they like it to go horizontal, um, but that works fine for me. And this is my little stethoscope case. I love it so much. It really helps me stay organized. I got this from Amazon. I wanna say it was like $15 and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So y'all can see my stethoscope stays right here. And then I have my scissors pen light and a pen and everything in here is from Amazon except for this little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer I have in there. But other than that, this is the Lippmann Classic 3 stethoscope and the color Raspberry. I want to say they're like $80 $90 on Amazon, but I absolutely love this stethoscope. But honestly, you don't really have to spend a ton of money to get a good stethoscope. Um, I know people who spent $40 on their stethoscope and it's it does the same exact thing. So but yeah, like I said, the pen light and the scissors, they're both pink and I got them from Amazon. As you guys can tell, I really like pink things. So now we're gonna start with all my pens and markers. So this is from a brand called Stabilo and I found them on Amazon and they're basically like pastel highlighters. There's nothing really special about these besides the colors and the shape. But other than that, like even the tip is still pretty much the same as a regular highlighter. I just really like the colors. And I have these pens from Wally World and they are the Pilot G2. And I think they were like $7 for a pack of five and they came with all these colors. Um, this one's from an old pack that I had. I have to get new pens every semester because of how much I write. And this is a little mechanical pencil I like to use. Um, Nothing special about it. I just like to use mechanical pencils versus regular pencils. And then I have these little dry erase board markers. And I'll show you guys my dry erase board in just a second. But I got these from Walmart. They are fairly cheap. They are the bullet tip is what they're called. So they look like that. But again, I liked having all these different colors because it helps me memorize things because I'm a visual learner. And I also have these markers and I got this little clear container from TJ Maxx. It was $3.99. And these are the Crayola Super Tip markers. You can find them at Walmart, but they're 
they have basically every single color you can think of. So that's helpful when it comes to note taking and then also drawing pictures and things like that. Okay, so now I have these little, I don't what these are called to tell you the truth, but they're like little placeholders in my books. These are like plastic and these are more cardboard like. Um, I thought I was gonna like these more because they had like a cute design and they're reusable, but I don't really care for these as much because they bend super easily. So like if I put them in my backpack and a book, they'll bend. Like as you can see, like this one's already super beat up. So I prefer the plastic ones. They're not reusable, you just throw them away when you get done, but they're cheap and they get the job done. And I got them from Walmart. Okay, now I have these little sticky notepads and I like writing notes on these um, because the colors kind of draw my attention. So like if there's something really important um, that my teacher mentions in a lesson, then I'll write them on here and then I'll be like, okay, I really need to put a focus on this. And that's how these come in handy. And then I have these note cards. Um, I like the big ones, like the big note cards, you can fit more on them. They really come in handy with subjects like pharmacology. Um, really, I use them for just about any subject, but I, these really, really help me during pharmacology and especially like writing everything in a different color and then making a game out of it or just using them as flashcards. And they're pretty cheap. They're like a dollar or something like that. And you can get them from anywhere. You can get them from Walmart. Um, Staples, Office Depot, but Walmart's gonna be the cheapest most likely. And then I have this little pink hole puncher that I got from Amazon. And y'all know I had to get pink. But yeah, this just comes in healthy. Um, this just comes in handy when I'm just trying to organize my binder. But other than that, I want to say I think it was like $18. It's by the brand Paper Pro, which is a pretty good brand. I like their products. And then of course I have notebooks. I got both of these from Walmart. And um, they're like that metallic-y type, shiny reflector paper. But anyways, this is what I like to take notes in. It keeps my stuff organized. I normally will, once I fill up a book, I'll start on another book but I like to keep one per class and instead of just doing like the college ruled paper and a binder. Of course, uh, a binder. I have a lot of different binders that I like to use, but this one's just like an example. I like the small ones because it's easier for me to carry around. So what I'll do is once this gets full, like I'll put my stuff in like a bigger binder and then I'll restart using this one but I try to keep everything organized so I don't lose any important papers. Um, so yeah. And this is my little handy dandy clinical clipboard. I really like this. Um, this has a compartment that I can keep all my clinical paperwork in. I would actually really, really recommend this for clinicals. Um, but the thing with this is it's too bulky. So they do have some on Amazon that are just like a thin clipboard and it folds in half. That might work better for some people. If I would have gotten that one first, I'm pretty sure I would have liked that one better than this one. But in clinicals, I just put my paper, like my clinical packet in here, and then I can keep stuff on the inside. And there's also on the back, there is some clinical, uh, not clinical, there's like lab values and stuff like that. But I don't really go off of them because every hospital's lab values is different, so I just go off of theirs. This is a backpack that I use, and it's something really special about it. It's just a regular backpack I got from Aldo. It's actually really, really old. Like, I've had this backpack for a minute now, but it just has a little pocket right here. I actually have some old supplies um, from school that I never got to use, so. I'll probably be using that to practice this semester and then it just has one big pouch. So I don't carry any of my big school books or anything like that. Like I don't carry my nursing school books in here because this will, it will literally kill my back if I did. Now what I do do is I do carry my laptop with me every day to school. So I have my ebook on there, which I recommend if you're not going to carry your book. 
or you can get a rolling backpack. And if you get a rolling backpack, then you don't even have to worry about how heavy your backpack is because you're literally just rolling it around. So if you're the type that likes to like carry your books with you, just get a rolling backpack. And they sell them on Amazon for fairly really cheap. I thought about getting one myself, but I decided not to get one because I didn't think I was really gonna use it. I did purchase a pair of compression socks. That is gonna be in the description box. I heard that those are super helpful for clinicals and it just makes your life so much easier um, for so many different reasons as far as like having to walk on your feet for 12 hours a day because last semester my feet were hurting so bad during clinicals and I heard that compression socks could possibly help that. So that is coming in and i did link them like i said so you guys can see like the exact same brand um that i got and then of course the pencil pouch that i mentioned earlier that is also going to be actually i don't think i mentioned my pencil my pencil pouch this is my old pencil pouch and the reason why i'm getting rid of this is it's just a little too small for me for all the stuff that i have um like pencils and markers and all that stuff I needed something bigger and then I also needed something that was gonna make it a little bit more organized. So you guys will see that pencil pouch in the Amazon, um, little Amazon link in the description box because that's gonna be the new one that I'm getting. It's much bigger. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope this was helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys later.